Last episode was a little bit of giving Kaori a slap in the face, a little reminder, a wake-up call. To stop being an insecure bitch, because when she's comparing herself to this like legendary 300 plus year old Lolly, or this crazy beast woman that can see future sight, or a dragon lady, it's like, what can Kaori really do? I think personally that Kaori does have specific things that like a holy priest can only do. And I think she'll be valuable in that sense. And when she stops comparing herself to everyone else, things will be fine. And at the end of the episode too, our teacher, the goddess of harvest, Got taken away but i think some spies from the church right but she's a kusai she's a kusai let's begin today's reaction was it shizuku actually i think it was the princess that side anyway she's gonna tell, tell she's gonna tell shizuku let's begin today's reaction Still, we're doing a reality reality check for her a little wake up call what do you want to do kaori what is it girl what do you want damn he's, i mean he's just telling her straight up no, trade Kaori for Suzuku. Bring me Suzuku. Look at her face. Look at Kaori. <laughs> wow, this is a big ship. What do you think? Oh, oh. She's gonna like that. Another invasion from those illusion pirates? Hmm, I don't like that. I don't know. She's still. I don't know. The vibes are off. Oh? Wait, the illusion isn't a battle? Instead, it's like on um. I don't know, it looks like a dinner. Like some kind of cruise ship. Oh, that's a thick ass boy. Look at him. Jeez. Some kind of king. And a mysterious shape hooded person. Yeah, everyone is together. Like all different races. Which is really rare. Oh, here we go. This piece of shit. What's he about to do? The racism again. The humans are just the pieces of shits in this show. I mean... Not everyone human is bad, but god damn, the bad people are always the fucking humans. Or the church. Bro. Alright, time to kill everybody, I guess. So basically, he just used everyone for whatever does peace treaty, and now he's gonna betray them all. Forsaken by our god. Their god just wants a fucking ethnic cleansing. It's only gonna be humans allowed. A heat again. Other gods. So that when the demon was talking about other god, it's not a heat, right? There is no peace without total annihilation. Are you fucking listening to yourself? They want to fight Hajime? Okay. The church need to get fucking swept. Can we do anything right now? They're really fucking building up our hatred for a heat. Who is this hooded person? Silver hair. This labyrinth is really just like showing us these backstories to teach us. No, that's pretty much just a flashback to pretty much tell you guys that, hey, God heat, the humans, the church, they're all corrupt. And again, they mentioned like the, the human guy was talking about how demons were worshiping like a pagan god. So I'm going to assume there's more than one entity called God that they refer to. It's not just a heat. Yeah, the king just used everyone for the war, then betrayed them at the end. What a piece of shit. Hmm? Because he was acting. Maybe he's being possessed. But it's not just good acting skills. He's possessed? By who? The silver haired girl? The silver haired girl possessed him to speak that way? <laughs> Underwater current? What? Bye, Cowdy. Goodbye. Never see you again. Ah, oh, more of these ghost soldiers. Let's go. Bang, bang. They are a bother because they're just trash fodder. Like, they're not they're not threatening. They're just fucking annoying. Kaori, Ka what about Kaori though? Oh. <laughs> just hiding there? Hey, what's up? Is that really you? Mm, is that really her? I'm... I'm a sus. Shoot her. Bang! Bang! <laughs> Shoot her. It's not her. It's not her, right? Shoot her! Do it! <laughs> Hajime kills Kaori. That's the title of this episode. Was this some random person? Like, who was it? So, she's still up? Shoot her more. Shoot her more. <laughs> I'm 
fucked up for enjoying this. This is hilarious, though. Come on. Shoot her more. Who is it? <laughs> One more shot. Bang! Shooting Kaori. Yes? She's not ours? What are you talking about? Oh. Interesting. I didn't know human bodies would get hurt by magic bullets. Who are you? <laughs> Bang! <laughs> It's a troll! Oh, Azumi, it's such a troll! No, we don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, man. Fuck, fuck Cody, man. I'm being so mean to her. Yo, this is great. I haven't had this much fun in a while. I'm so twisted. I'm so demented, bro. <laughs> Hazume is incredibly ruthless. It will keep you alive, but we'll keep torturing you. That is terrifying. Fate worse than death. Now get out of that body, coward. Who are you? He's not fucking around. He'll shoot again. Bang! Oh? Oh? I guess it's released, Kaori? Huh? That was Kaori's voice. I'll send you off. Was that actual Kaori sending off whoever possessed her? I don't know. She just like exercised her? Like let her rest somehow? Kiss? You wouldn't kiss, right? Kaori, make a move. Now's your chance right now. You won't ever get a closer kiss than this. Come on, go. Go, go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> what are you doing? I mean, I told her to kiss. She wanted to steal a kiss. And she wants to be part of your harem, man. This is bizarre. We just shot this girl multiple times, and now she's confessing to us. Now, obviously, it wasn't actually Kaori. But if you think about it, we were just shooting her. <laughs> Nah, we need to get Shizuku to get a piece of this pie too, man. Mm. And that's gonna be the constant running gag. You just wanna get cucked like this? Intentionally, you just gonna get cucked? This is an interesting... I mean, who am I to judge what she wants? If I was Kaori, I'd be like, fuck that. I don't wanna be, you know, like, fourth in line. But if this makes her happy, then go for it, I guess. She did sneak in a kiss, too. After she got shot multiple times. Portal 2? What, I'll shoot you? Oh, the thing about how, you know, you threaten someone I love or something? Or, like something precious to me? Something important to me, I think. I forget. But he says something like that. I guess Kaori kind of picked up on that. Where are we now? Liberator zone? Is this where the Liberator is? Or? Yeah, this is where we get the ancient magic, right? Oh, our girls too? Everybody's here. <laughs> you always gonna get jealous. Oh, no, that's piggyback. Hmm, the piggyback. The piggyback. No, you is not jealous. You know what? Yui's been showing more confidence in Hajime about their love and trust. She's like, sure, you can do whatever with other girls. Doesn't matter, because I'm still the main girl. <laughs> the entire time, yes. Cunning. Throw her down, just fucking toss her. Nothing, we, we shot her. We shot her a couple times, then, we, then she kissed me. Was that a kick to the ass? It is, it's steaming out of her ass. We shot her a bunch of times, and she she, she did kiss. Kaori did. I mean, kind of true, yeah. Yeah. Yui seems fine with it. It's like whatever. She's like, wow, you weren't being a coward. You actually went for it. The dynamic in this harm is very interesting. I think after this, they'll be able to settle their differences. We'll probably still get the running gag of her feeling jealous, but... Looks like right now, you know, She and Yue were kind of rough in the beginning too, but right now I think Yue and Kaori, I think they're also going to get along. 
He did say it. He did say it. Challenge for Hajime? I think Yue is still number one girl to him, right? I don't think anyone can replace Yue. Now, which ancient magic are we learning? Restoration. Like healing? Healing? What do you mean power restoration? Oh, that's a lot of feet. Who is this? Oh my. Mew's mom. Mew's mom? No, different mermaid, right? Basically, another liberator telling us don't believe in that god and follow your own ambitions. I mean, this is stuff that we already know. Oh, is that the labyrinth that was oh, at Shea's place, right? Now we're gonna get flushed out. Oh. I thought we were gonna get flushed out and see the talking fish again. Talking fish? Talking fish? Oh wait, it's this monster again! Wait, it's that slime thing again! The fuck? You're still alive? Teleport away. We have teleport, right? Attack it with ice! Ice! Freeze it! Uh, oh, what is that? Or it just burn it, incinerate it so quick that it can't regenerate. What kind of new power is this? Whose voice is this? A school of fish? Wait, talking fish? Talking No! He actually shows up again? This Giga Chad. This fucking Giga Chad show. I was memeing about I hope we get to see him again when we get flushed out. This is insane. This is insane. This is such a meme. <laughs> Yeah! Why are you here? Okay! The devourer is the purple slime thing, right? Bro, his face. It's such a Sigma face. Look at it. It's a Giga Chat face. Underwater missiles. Let's blow it up. I hope the fish is okay. All the fish that we went, you know, that saved us. Imagine that just killed all the fishes that helped us. Oh, back at the human kingdom. Aichan is gone. Sensei is gone. The princess saw it though, right? Or was it Shizuku that saw it? I think the princess saw it. Is Lily the princess? All the girls are just gone? Wait, wait, wait. We need Shizuku to clutch. This is intentional. They consider her a bigger threat than the heroes. Or at least the demons did, right? The church does too. Meld is on our side, even though he's technically on, you know, the, the kingdom's side, but he probably doesn't know shit either. Silver hair girl? Silver hair girl from the flashback? Who is this? My lord, who is your lord though? Who is it? Like, we can probably guess that, you know, who she serves is God of Heat, but I'm trying to like understand who is her lord. Like it can't just be God. It's gotta be someone else, right? From the church's side. I don't really know, but we got four tokens. We can now go to the main labyrinth that, you know, we need four uh, tokens to actually go to in, what is it, Shea's place? But I'm not sure if we're going to go there yet. Maybe she's going to just handle everything here. Is she good enough to handle everything here by herself? What about Koki? She should be around too, maybe. Maybe Koki can get a redemption by helping with Shizuku and somehow all the human people, the classroom here, will kind of recognize that, you know, the church people and that the kingdom is actually very corrupt and we should get the fuck out of here. Maybe they rendezvous with... Hajime, and then we can kind of create like a team. How'd that work? I don't really know. And remember, the bully also was getting coerced by the demon, right? He was also getting convinced by the demon to do something. So I don't know where the plot is going, but it's getting interesting. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other play playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.